So today, they released the new changes for Dead by Daylight, including the rework for Skull Merchant. Now, I played Skull Merchant for about four hours on stream. I wasn't intending to. It was intending to play for about an hour or two. But it was so fucking fun that I ended up keeping going. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who the fuck's this guy? And why do I give a shit? Well, first of all, I was a Skull Merchant player before the rework. Specifically, a Chase Merchant player. Now, I've previously created two videos on the Skull Merchant and the PTP yeah. changes. And I claimed how dog shit they were. Which they were dog shit. But I also said this. What they've actually done is shift the playstyle to one where you sneak around with the new effect of initiating Insidious when you deploy a drone. For those unaware, you get 8 seconds of Insidious when you deploy a drone. Comboing it with an add-on will also get you 10 seconds of Insidious. Use this to sneak up on generators and you get free hits. Now this could have been a fun playstyle if it wasn't for the 25,000 cooldowns on her abilities. And the good news is they actually addressed it and they've reduced her cooldown by removing the cooldown for recalling a drone. Now, the result of this is you can basically stay undetectable indefinitely. What this means is that Skull Merchant is now the best stealth killer in the game, which is quite funny because she's no better than Ghostface and Sadako, my two other mains. Now, do I think that the rework was good? No. The reason I don't think the rework was good was one, it's completely changed the killer, killer's style play, and um, more importantly, it's changed it to my other two mains, and it's kind of made them irrelevant. Sadako, you can still have fun on because of the uh, condemn and being able to instantly marry people, but Ghostface is basically useless now because he doesn't do anything. But because you can stay undetectable 24 7 with this chick, you just have way more pressure, and not to mention you have traps around which don't really do anything. But it is something. It's a bit more than exposed on Ghostface. Not only this, but she does actually have anti-leap, unlike the Ghostface. Even if that anti-leap is complete horseshit, which she still is. Now, the other reason I don't think the rework is very good is quite simple. Um, 80% of the add-ons are useless. Oh, by the way, they've for some reason banned the add-on that I was using. Oh, that's good. Fantastic behaviour. Don't know why that's been banned, but hey, it has. So here's a problem. Pretty much every single one of these add-ons require a claw trap to get value out of it. And the problem with that is the claw traps are useless because you never get them on because it takes too long to put a claw trap on a survivor. Not only that, but the effects are fucking pathetic. I mean, let's take this on. This used to be one of her greatest add-ons and now we get an extra one second added onto the Kinder status, which is so astronomically shite that it might as well not exist. Not only this, but it's quite funny because this one, which increases your hinder speed by 3%, uh, is better. It's a green add-on, but it's better because the amount of distance that they gain is less with this than it is with this. Because the 3% over the entire duration of hinder is a much better hinder than an extra one second of the base kit hinder. Now, this is the build that I've been running. We'll ignore the fact that this has been uh, temporarily disabled since behaviour in their infinite wisdom are yet to ever push a patch out without having to kill switch something. Good job, behaviour. So, this is the add-on we've been running. Increases our undetectable status effects to about 9.8 seconds. Now, with this and the 10 second cooldown on her ability, it means you have about 0.2 seconds of downtime between your undetectable if you're constantly juggling it. Which is quite funny and leads to quite a lot of situations where you just get hits on survivors because they have no fucking idea what's happening. It really does show how strong stealth can be in this game, because even with the dog shit leaps it doesn't matter because you don't have to worry about them. Uh, the playstyle we're going to be running is hit and run. We're basically going to be playing Skull Merchant like I play Sadako. If you want to know more information on that, I have a Sadako video, um, a guide actually. But we're running Brutal Strength, Pop Goes a Weasel, Eruption and Sloppy. We were comboing Geographical with Brutal Strength. This gave us a 40% damage on walls and on pallets. And it also buffed our vault speed by 20%, which meant that we just shredded through pallets. And then because we have Brutal and we have two gen kicking perks, we would just drop kicking generators the entire game. And because they never knew where we were, we were able to quickly get down, quickly prop to eruptions, which quickly gave us back pop goes a weasel. And it essentially turns us into an absolute monster where they couldn't get generators done because they were constantly being popped and eruptioned. Kind of felt like old eruption, it was quite hilarious. But it was also very fun. Can't imagine it was very fun on the receiving end, but hey, this is what they wanted, I guess. So, following is gonna be gameplay throughout the entire stream that I was doing, where I was just dicking around with Skull Merchant. Again, she's great. Just play as a stealth killer, don't play as a chase killer, because she hasn't got any chase potential. Kick that beat. 
Let's go. Dead. We're gonna try and hit Michaela. Oh her. I did. He's up here, she's gonna probably balance landing this, alright? Yeah. Can we move back? Someone injured. He's right here, though. No, he's not. We can hit that. Quadron. Pressure the Dwight. Doing that, putting your drone down and then, like, ripping line of sight and coming around. Seems like it's going to be the play, for sure. That's why I gathered it would be on the PCB. It's only gotten stronger by the looks of things. There's no way you're fucking jumping on that. Mad lad. There's no way that hit her. You going for the unhook? The rest of it would be pretty good. I'm not going to turn on, I'm just going to hit him off hook so he has to deep wind. Uh, so he has to mend. Not deep mend. That's uh, made for this right there. Okay, man. What just happened? I was having fun. What? What the fuck is this piece of shit? Bro, behavior, your server sucks so much penis. It's crazy, bro. What's this? What is this? What do you mean? Fucking multi fucking million dollar corporation can't even fucking fix their shitty servers. Oh, I'm not over it. I'm tilted. I know I'm matchmaking locked for five minutes because it's just a joke. I'll oh, piss off. I was not sent here, what? Oh, you fucking cock. Who did it? I know someone's on that gym, but there's someone on this uh, box. Okay, man. That's actually a good place for a drone. Because when they jump out the window, it means that they get hit by it. And the Kayla. Oh, you really want to start playing off?
I've not played against Thill Merchant yet. Oh shit. New icon. Oh my fucking god, dude. Shit, I need to turn my headset down. I don't want to pick that yet. I'll tell you about these nightmares, guy. Um, Kid of Graf. Kid of Graf kind of pops off. Is over here. I don't want to go around that. I'll be honest with you. That can suck my ass. Stupid match in card. Yeah. I've got the shot gun done, which is fine. I don't care. That gun can piss off. If I'm being 100 percent to stop the heal, but uh do that instead. Ah! And we'll hook this and then we'll have uh, a thingy that pop that. I can't I can't I can't even hear steps when I'm in chase. This is so freaking loud. Oh shit the face camping dreams. Might have to get Michaela out, I'm not gonna lie. I know it's three gens, but like this Dos is a garden of pain as an M1 killer. Not being worked on there. That's not cool. How are you doing, brother? Has he got a key? He's pretty distance with life. Bar trap. So does dissolution just flat out not exist anymore? Is that is that how that works? We shouldn't be chasing this person because he has six KOs. Is not worth it? I love how they got rid of like the best part of her kit. Like the most unique part from the day one. Done. Very nice eruption there. He's been standing someone above me. I was joking. He's back there. What are you doing back there? How are you even back there? That's a better question. We're gonna try and hit this. No. Yes, he's up. Never mind. She's unbreakable, I guess. It was just fun. Something unique. Something all the M1 killers didn't have. I know it was literally just a pair, but like, yeah, it's man. It was hell in fun as hell. I'm like trapping here. I'm just trapping 2.0. I've just got the drones everywhere. 
Look how touch my generator is. Find her was hard, man. I'm not gonna chase you over there, brother. If you want me to chase you, chase go to a fucking leap that isn't complete cancer. If she what if she stayed there, I would have been fine. I can mind game now. I'm not going over there where there's a god pallet into a fucking super window leap into another leap. Someone's on this. There he is. Slide in away. An interesting strat. I'm doing that because then she falls out the window and then I can actually hook him. Because if I, if I did it inside, I wouldn't have been able to hook him. Unless there's one on the balcony, but I don't think there is. That's some fun chases instead of uh, 3 gen in. We don't need to 3 gen or even hold generators at all. Honestly, with the stealth changes, I think it's fine. The only problem I have is isn't even a power it's it's not I don't know. The grace period's fine, I think. It's just the power isn't the, the trade-off isn't worth it. If they they should make it when the claw trap hits, then they get hindered. To do that. issues with it is just my hatred towards behaviors inability to keep things fun or like usable i, I don't we shouldn't have like nuked 90 percent of the fucking the, the add-ons are just not worth it literally every single add-on that requires a claw trap is now completely worthless it's it's ridiculous it feels weird but she's fun okay i'll give them that but yeah, it's, I'm just frustrated because they've removed the killer I really enjoy. I'm not doing that. You off your rocker. Yeah. Wait. No, I would. They've not got. I, they've not got 14 items. So, here's how they fix every every single add-on. Here's how they fix it. When the survivor is scanned by a drone. There we are. Do that one change. If we do that one change. I will be fully happy with this rework. But as it stands, I, I, I cannot call a rework good when 80% of the add-ons are useless. Around cold winds. That's to happen eventually. Can I can I stop you again? Oh, you're giving me the pallet as well. Too you kind. Really. this I, I mean this wasn't the guy i was trying to get i was trying to get the guy who was injured here i love to see it you really do you know what i love I can play the exact play style I play on Sadako on this, and it works. It works perfectly. I just need more generation. Oh, there ain't no way you're about to pop that generator. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking do it! He just, he just found out I popped it. <laughs> An unhappy chappy right there.
Alright, no way. Everyone's injured. I'd love to see it. Oh, she got object. If we give this girl harsh, she might be doing her adept. Let's let Laurie escape, she's doing adept for sure. I was trying to wait for the eruption, but I lost the patience to do so. Here we are. I'll just eruption this instead. Never mind. We can get the three down. Then we can pop eruption it. I can imagine it's very hard to play against this, because you just never know where I am, ever. As it's case in point. <laughs> My guy just ran at me. <laughs> These guys are on the struggle bus, man. This feels like bullying at this point. He's 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 had enough. I don't blame him. Actively not tunnel, that's how far ahead I am right now. I don't want her. I don't want her to suicide on her because I'm pretty sure she's doing her death. I respect the effort, Leon. Oh, he's got dead hard. There I go. Oh, they did a generator. Holy shit. Good job, team. I hear someone touching my generators. No. Oh. Okay, man. Poor guys. I've not dominated a lobby this hard in a hot minute. Thousand years later. Now Laurie's over here. Laurie, can you show me where your teammate is? She's over here. <laughs> he hasn't got a depth, I'm gonna feel so dumb. There ain't no way. Run, run, Laurie. Go to the hatch. I believe in you. Yeah. That's it. There it is. Yeah! Fucking knew she was doing a dip. I'm not even gonna put GG because I wasn't GG. They just got absolutely fucking decimated. I was like, I felt bad levels of decimation. They just couldn't work out what to do because I had no terror radius for like 80% of that match. They were just running into me. That was crazy. At least we got her adept. I know, I noticed you had. That's why I, uh, I didn't hit you because I saw you had objective obsession, so I assumed you were doing adept. At first, I thought it was uh, behavior actually doing a good change for Skull Merchant, and then I realized that that couldn't have been the case. Must have been a survivor.